So in this video, we're going to check out how to export in the new 1.2 firmware for the Deluge. So you have to be in song view. Currently, I'm in the grid view, and I have three columns of instruments, and each of them have three clips. I can trigger them with the different sections. This is how you export all of the clips. Just hold down Save, and then press Record. Now it's exporting the clips. So as you can see, it just did the first one and now it's moving on to the next. Doesn't take too long. When it's done, it'll say export done and click down the select knob. Now, let's test that out. So I'm gonna make a new clip here. We're gonna turn it to audio. Audio exports are in samples and then exports and then the song name. So if you save the song, it'll save it in the same folder name as the song name. Then in there, we rendered clips because we were in the song view so we have the clips, and there they are. So if you take out your SD card, put it in your computer, samples, exports, song name, and then whatever type of the files are going to be right there. So that's clips. Now I'm just going to record to the arranger, and then we're going to export the tracks on the arranger. Press record song. Now it's just going to play the music. I'm just going to trigger something here. Now it says bars remaining two. Now it's counting down. So now we have a preview with 1.2. Let's switch to the next after this. Let's actually just go to the piano. Let's add some drums. the whole section. Now I'm just switching the next section. It says how many bars are left so we can get a really good idea of when it's going to change. There it goes. Just going to cut out the drums here. And we're going to cut these out. Three, two, one, and it's going to stop. And that's it. So now I'm going to go to the arranger. Now we can zoom out here. You can see what I triggered. Let's go to eighth notes. Press cross screen. You can see it playing through everything we just did. Now we also have a new setting where I can just go forward, press play, it's going to start right here. That's really useful. Now we're just going to export. It's going to export the drum track, the piano track, and the synth track. So don't press record first, hold down save, press record. Now it's exporting. And we can see it exporting right now. So it just finished the first one. Now it's recording the second one. Now it's recording the last one. Export done. Press OK. And we can see when we're in exports, RC song tracks and now those are the three tracks and they're the full tracks that we just recorded in so we have the clips individual and the tracks so what if i export it again from the clips let's just see what happens so save record now it's exporting the clips now it says export done Okay, so we have the same clips, everything. Let's go back. Now we can see clips dash zero zero. So that recreates all of those clips. It doesn't overwrite the previous ones, which is really cool. So if you have variations, you can just save it in and then you'll have all of those clips. It'll operate the same way with tracks. Now if I push in select from the song view, we can go down and see there's an export audio menu as well. We can do the start export, which is the same as that shortcut we did. Or we can configure the export. So let's configure it. We can add normalization. 
Normalization processes the wave so that the loudest peak is set to max volume. So if there's like one spike in a wave, it doesn't really make a huge volume difference. So by default, it'll render it until it hits silence. So if there's like sound tails like a delay or reverb, that'll also be captured. If the silence on a clip or a track is not reached in 60 seconds after it plays, the recording is going to stop automatically as a safety precaution. You can render these with or without the song effects. So when we're looking at effect entire, that's the song effects. Offline rendering enables you to render and export a lot faster than if you just recorded the playback using live audio, like when you're resampling. You can also turn it off so that it'll just record real time. So if you have issues rendering a track, for example, that won't export, you can just disable offline rendering and it should work. Another issue, if you have special characters on the track name, it won't export the files because it's not a valid name. So just make sure to use regular characters. So let's say we go into here, let's just export audio, start export. Let's say we don't want to do this, so let's press back, cancel export, click OK, and then it stops. So if I go in the browser, I can see it actually added the folder, and the files that did render are actually there, just three of them this time, because I stopped it in the middle of the third export. So stay tuned, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this. I'm going to try to keep it as basic as possible, just so you can understand different functions when you're ready to learn them.